In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this landing page for free using Google Sites. Let me show you this version of the landing page, which is made also for free using Leadsleep. And this is another version of the same landing page created using system.io. But today I'm going to show you how to build and create this same landing page using Google Sites. And here is the result that we want to get. What's up friends, Amar here. And if you're new to this channel, please support it by subscribing, liking this video and or dropping a comment. It will be highly appreciated. Now, before I start building the landing page on Google site, let me remind you that this landing page will be promoting a free training to build an email list for free and that you can import a copy of this thank you page instantly and customize it with your own affiliate links to make commissions. So if you want to build an email list for free and promote the recurring commission programs that are presented or promoted on this landing page here, all you have to do is use Google Sites, create a landing page just like this one, and then you can, of course, import the thank you page and change your affiliate links on the blue buttons here, and you will be making commissions if anyone upgrades on these tools here. Okay, uh, we already saw how to create a landing page using System IO and Leads Leap. Today we are going to use System. Uh, we are going to use Google Sites to create this same landing page, and we are going to keep it simple: a big headline, a subheadline, a call to action, and an opt-in form. So the first thing you want to do is go to sites.google.com com sites.google.com as you can see here and when you are in uh, you will be already logged into your google account these are the landing pages that i already created and if i want to create a brand new one i can click on the plus sign here to get a blank uh, landing page if you want also you can use the templates that are presented inside of google sites I always uh, like to start from scratch, so I just click the plus button here, and then I will choose the template that I want to uh, use. And that is by clicking on the right hand side here, themes, and then you can choose one from these. I like the uh, theme that says impression. Uh, here you can build multiple pages if you want to, and here you can insert objects inside of the page. So the first thing I want to do is change this background from black to white. So I'm going to a uh, header type here and then put title only. So I only keep the title here. And before I continue, I need to give a name to this uh, landing page. So let's call it test for now. So this landing page will be called test. Now I'm going to copy paste the uh, big headline from the page that I already made. So I'm going to just copy it and come back here and then paste it. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider to fit just like this. So now I have the big headline. Now I'm going to bring the subheadline and the call to action, which is this part here. So I'm going just to copy it like this. And then I will go back to Google Sites, uh, get a text box here, click on it. And then inside of it, I will do paste. So this is the subheadline plus, plus call to action. Of course, you can format your text, make it bigger or smaller. You can change the font. You can change the font size. You can change the color of the text if you want to make it red, for example, or something else. I will keep it like this bluish color. Now I'm going to bring the opt-in form where people can put their email addresses to opt-in and get access to the thank you page we spoke about so they can register accounts on the uh, recurring commission programs and make your recurring income.
So this time I'm going to grab my form code from Leadsleep because I'm building a list on a Leadsleep and all I have to do is go to the right to the left hand side, click on form pop-up manager and I created actually a form for free uh, just for this example. So I click here on get HTML form code and this is the code so control a to select it control c to copy it and then i will go back to my google sites project and i want to use this object here embed code so i click on it and then i click here embed code and i paste it so I click um, OK and then I click insert and as you can see it is right here let me just make it wider so it fits the space and I think I want to push it a little bit from the left hand side so it goes to the middle of the page so here is my opt-in form and now I'm going to publish the page I just made. I click the publish button. It will ask me for the uh, web address. So what is the part that I add after Google Sites view? So I choose free LP01. It's available and then click on publish. So right now the page has been published. And if I want the link to the page, I click here and then I copy the link and then I will open it on a new tab, paste it, enter, and here is the landing page. I'm missing a small part here at the bottom so I can put a divider here, line, and then put this text here which is an affiliate disclosure. So I'm going to copy it, get back to Google Sites, and then I want to use a divider which is right here so I can change its color as well and now I'm going to put a text box at the bottom and paste the affiliate disclosure I can make it centered in the middle and then I will publish one more time this is how it was this is how it will be so I'm going just to click publish and then get the link copy and then paste it right here and enter uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time before getting the new version. Okay, so here is the affiliate disclosure. I have a big headline, subheadline, call to action, opt in form ready to go to build your email list, to promote the thank you page that I showed you that will allow you to make affiliate commissions. Thank you very much for making it so far and watching the video. Please support the channel by subscribing, liking the video and or dropping a comment and I will see you on the next one.